This is our definition of Ahu Ailao. Hello, my name is um, Keone Kalave. I live in uh, Puna, and um, I'm actually a Kahuna Kui Kui Puone. It's a hail architect. I actually um, design and uh, restore hails. The name Ahu Ailaao, it is the name for uh, Fisher 8. So Ailaao is actually an original god from Hawaii. He comes deep within the, um, in the earth, in the Honua. And Ailaao is also a god for Heao people as well as if you have like Hula, you know, Pele is their God. Heao people, Ailao is our God. But the definition of Ahu Ailao is first the Ahu Ula. So when the lava, which is, is coming out and is flowing the red and yellow, as you can see, it flows to um, Pohoike all the way to Kapoho, that's his cloak, that's the Ahuula. Last year, I took my apprentice, or her and I actually went to uh, Delani Estates and we gave offering, uh, you know, the offering for um, Ailaao. I think that was one of the first times that anybody gave um, an offering to Ailaao with the proper offering that you would give him. A lot of people, they're asking questions about Ailaao, the practices, what kind of um, ho'okupu that you um, actually offer to um, Ailaao. So for Ailaao, it's um, ie ie, uh, lepo or soil from Kohala, and also um, uh, vai or water from the heavens. So when you actually collect water for um, Ailaao, it would be from the, the leaf of the kalo, of the taro leaf, the dew, and you would collect the dew from the um, taro leaf before sunrise. So that's, you know, that is actually what you offer Ailaao, whereas for Pele, it's, it's totally different what you're um, offering. So uh, spent a lot of time, you know, at, at the hub, and this one evening I was sitting down and someone came out and said, you know, it's, uh, this old man in dark clothes, ash, you know, covered with ash on his face and his arms. He actually came in and he wanted um, to eat, but the uh, people in the serving line refused to uh, feed him. And as we were um, talking, all of a sudden, you know, the, the Ailao just shot up in the sky. And now you see actually his, actually his face just looking down on the hub. I showed you the wow. picture, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 it's amazing. amazing. Even like there's other people who witness, you know, other experience of Ailao, you know, during the time of, of um, the, the eruption. We came up with the name. It was actually uh, myself, uh, Le, Eli, and uh, Pilani Kavaloa. So we met along with um, Kalani Whitaker. We were you know, we discussing, discussing about, um, you know, the physical um, appearance and both the um, uh, elements and also the spiritual aspect of what's happening uh, with the, uh, the lava flow. And um, there's a lot of people who actually uh, seen um, Ailaao in the flesh. And um, so as we actually, uh, we started to talk and stuff like that. Um, you know, we came up with the name Ahu Ailao. You know, you know, so so amazing. You know, this year marks the 200th year anniversary of the overthrow of the old um, religion. So what was happening is that when they had the Battle of Kumo, there was actually uh, which could remove the old religion, the Kapu system system and also the hail practice with one blow but 
See, what happened was they may have taken out the, um, the couple system and the old religion, but they failed to take out the, uh, the hail practice because we stayed around. It went underground. Um, mahalo for having me and you know hopefully this um, information will um, clarify the name of Ahu Ailao. Aloha. Sounds great. Thanks uncle. Yeah. Aloha. Stay classy Puna. Stay classy. <laughs>